Okay, welcome back. Um, I'm just finish, finishing off the field and uh, I'm doing it at speed 2 um, on the automated um, speed controls. And um, I did that on you know the other second half of the field. And now, um, next step would be to advance time. However, I figure I grab it trailer by a, a transport wagon attach it to my tractor and head into the village to see what's available um, I used up about I don't know a third maybe of the, the wheat sacks that I had available for this very small field and I realized that I need to I, I don't know exactly how much I will get once I harvest it but I realized that I need to um, purchase more eventually. Uh, I don't know if I should feed them the chickens, the, the cows, the pigs, sheep, things like that. Um, tutorial doesn't mention anything about the animals at all. So um, what I've did, done is that I put one pig in a pig size I mentioned before. And that's it. I haven't provided them with any food or anything like that. I will just keep it there and see if I notice if there is a difference between the pig out in the wild, so to speak, the one, the one running around my farm, and the pig in the sty. There is troughs, so I could feed them, but I don't really have the stuff. I guess I could give them a sack of corn, but now, nah. okay, so. I need a transport vehicle. I will take the smaller one. Okay, that was close. Um, I will take that one. It's small enough, and um, it's it's still able to hold a bunch of materials, whoa, or a bunch of sacks, um, whatever I might need to purchase. So we just attach it to the tractor there. There we go. And let's head into the village and see what's available. Uh, there are still a few things missing, like um, there is no speedometer, so. I know that this tractor has a top speed of 40 kilometers, but I don't know at this time at what speed I'm traveling. Um, they don't use up gasoline or fuel, so there's no fuel gauge. Uh, there is no easy way to check on the equipment you have available or how to sell them, things like this. Uh, it will be added according to the developers. Um, Personally, I would not have released the game without those items in there, since it's it's part of the the game itself. You know, you you start off with limited funds, so you you have to buy the cheaper, weaker versions of your equipment. But as you earn more money and you know create bigger fields, you you want to replace that with bigger and better equipment. So, um, yeah, here we are. I think that's a kindergarten, no kids. Um, that's cafe of sorts. Nothing taking thing going on there. Okay, I've been driving one kilometer with this, so I get an achievement, which is very nice. Still don't know if it's money or just if it unlocks anything. Um, cockpit view, the front, you know, front seat view. I don't like this view, but I guess when you're driving around town in the village, it's okay. Also, I'm using the mouse and keyboard for the controls. Um, you can use some type of steering wheel, I think. Um, I read the forum. There are some people having issues with that. Cannot make them work. And um, game pads you can use as well. 
So this is the market stalls. I will get out and um, I can buy onions. I don't know if I can plant onions. Uh, I, I guess I would be able to. Uh, so corn, milk, pesticide, um, manure, sunflower, wheat, onion and eggs. I don't know if it's for purchase or for sales. Those uh, milk jugs is way below. And the bottom row is also way below. We have the eggs, the onion, corn. Um, I will not buy any of that. Again, I don't know if I can. Grass bales. Well, I guess I could buy some of them. Uh, I think I need grass for my pig. Okay, I need to open a back door. There we go. Take the bale, grass. Kind of tricky. And put it inside here. Can't really see what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. Get in there. Now we're back to. Where is it? I dropped it. Not the most intuitive way of doing things. Okay, let's see, can we close the back door? Yay. Guess we have to open it again. One of the bales fell on the ground. And I sort of paid for it. Three, six, yeah. This is really... Damn it! Stupid bail. Maybe I should have taken a smaller flatbed without the big lips and wall section. I cannot really get that any further in. If it falls down now, there we go. It remain. I'm kind of short, as you can see. I can't reach. Um, here's another stall over here. I think they basically sell the same things. Well, how about that? There's a person there. Well, that's new. Um, yeah, they have the same things. I don't know if this is where you sell your stuff, since it's empty. And this is where you purchase the things you need. Uh, I did not see the sunflower seeds. I mean, I did see the icon for it, but maybe it's the onions that turns into sunflowers. Well, anyway, I I make do with two grass bales for now. We'll. Whoop. Wow. That wasn't good. Grass bell flew out and pulled down a parking sign. I guess they're kind of heavy. This, this is uh, another example of what I was mentioning earlier in my previous video about the physics engine. It, it doesn't make any sense that a bale should bounce around as much as this one does or the fact that uh, the tractor isn't powerful enough to drive over a, a small lump of uh, soil. So for now I guess I go at a respectable max speed uh, or automatic 3 which is the 
third speed. It's like cruise control. I could take the other way around, getting back to the farm that way, but no. So, um, once I get back to the farm, I, I will just uh, unhook this one. I will not. Well, I, I guess I could feed one of the bales to the pig in the sty. And um, then we go to the field, see what it looks like, and advance time one day. And uh, see what happens if there is any sprouting going on on the wheat. Eventually, I think they will add more people and not stationary like that woman by the stall was, but actually vehicles that move around and you have to navigate around them or not. Things like this. Mm. Uh, yeah, it looks nice. I'm still contemplating the fact, or you know, wondering, thinking about if I should start a secondary field. Uh, I do have the equipment for it, um, but I mean, I guess I could do that off screen um, to maximize as much as possible and maybe use up all the wheat that I have. I don't know if the wheat that I uh, harvest can be used to plant new wheat that way that would be good if that's possible but um, okay I, I will pause the video here and um, I will be back shortly okay I'm back I'm in the pigsty I think I did pull this pig in here, or guided him in here. Tried to feed him hay, he wasn't interested, uh, so I put it here. Or tried to feed him grass, basically. Uh, I did a hay trial before, didn't work, so I put it here. I don't know what they're for, if it's just to, you know, put on the ground for them to have some soft beds or something like that. Um, this, these three indicate, I think it's the sunflower seed corn and wheat. So I guess if you put it here that would go to maybe automatically fill these feeding machines, feeding troughs or it's just a storage for you to quickly access the feeding uh, storage. Um, I will unhook this trailer here. I, I did not like that purchase basically. Uh, it's way too high up. And I'm too short and it's difficult to load it so what I will do now is I'll drive to the field and basically I will just advance time um, one day at a time until I see some growth taking place tractor isn't very fast here oh a chicken has wandered off do not eat my Rain. Okay, and yeah, so we advance the time one day there, seven AM day two. I do not see any growth. Day three, do not see any growth. There you go. On day four, there is some growth. We got to inspect it. There, um, well, it's not quite as good as I would hope, but going at speed two is possible. Uh, it's a bit patchy though. And it seems like the areas that wasn't plowed doesn't really have any um, plants 
growing in them or in the wheat. So we go back to the tractor, go to the store, and now we're going to get a um, sprayer. Uh, 60,000 for this one. Um, 30 meter width. 145. 15,000. Oh, that's much better. 25,000. It's 12 meter width. I don't know the width, the, the width of my field. But again, I would go for the cheapest one. Uh, there we go. Bought it. Now we head back home. Turn on the lights. Backlight. Don't really need those. And pick up the sprayer. Fill it with water at the well there, I think. And um, throw in a pesticide in the mix. And we'll see what happens. I don't know if there is a way to reset the vehicles so they get to like a default position where you had to manually move them. Uh, you may be interested in knowing how to, uh, you know, tell your workers to do stuff. In farming simulator, you basically just attach the equipment to the tractor or the combine go to the field and basically you are selected to hire the worker and um, he would then do the job for you but that was like a temporary worker um, here it's slightly more detailed or complicated um, okay we can only hold 250 units but the store said which one is it? That one. Uh, 150 liters. Well, 1500 liters. So, what, 250 units? It, it doesn't make any sense. Anyway, um, it's a little bit more work uh, for the workers you know, to get them assigned to do tasks. Now where, um, where is this? Oh, there it is. There's the well. Well, well. You you select the worker. You select the tractor. You select the extension, uh, and then you select the field. Um, please fill up with water. Don't tell me that you will not fill up with water from here. Apparently you will not. But you would like to get stuck there, huh? So I'm here, there is no water. Where can I get my water? Well, there is a lake. However, I do believe that the well should provide me with water. Why it doesn't, I don't know. What? Oh, it's detached too. Oh, isn't that great? Oh, 
Oh wait, I think I know why. Connect. And connect. Now we get in the tractor. No, doesn't fill up. Hmm. Okay, let's try to the water markings out here, which makes no sense. Okay, I, I will pause the video and see if I can figure out where to get the water. I will be back shortly.